Hello there, welcome to your Scottish forecast on Tuesday the 2nd of January 2024. A happy new year to you. Now, Storm Henk was named by the Met Office earlier on Tuesday, bringing weather impacts across England and Wales. For Scotland, low pressure sits to the west of mainland Scotland and a squeeze on the isobars towards the northeast where we'll see severe gales. Showers never too far away and temperatures around average for this time of year, although Shetland remains in colder air, so we'll see some snow above around 100 metres as we head into Wednesday morning and in fact Tuesday night as well. So you can see these severe gales just affecting the tip of northern Scotland, northeast Scotland. This low pressure here brings some stronger winds delivering frequent showers to the Western Isles as well as Western mainland Scotland and these will turn heavy. Now further south and east some quieter weather even some mist and fog forming across the central belt of Scotland and certainly things will be drier here as we head into Wednesday morning with that rain remaining and being quite persistent across the northeast and showers continuing across the west and winds will be relentless here as well. A lighter breeze to start the day across more central and southern areas. Now, through Wednesday morning, these showers club together, forming a more persistent spell of rain across northwest highlands down towards Oban, and in fact, a few showers lingering across the central belt through the day. Elsewhere, the rain continues across northeast Scotland, Orkney, and Shetland. Further south, you may even see a little bit of sunshine. Yes, the clouds could break up here, allowing for some brighter skies. As we see this bank of showery rain continue its passage slowly across the highlands of Scotland and clipping uh, the central belt. Temperatures then coming in around five to eight degrees Celsius. Three though for Shetland, four for Orkney. Now through Wednesday evening and overnight, it's wet for many. Showery bursts towards the south will be mostly patchy, but some more persistent rain affecting Aberdeenshire as well as Caithness as this pushes towards yet again the Northern Isles. Further showers moving in on a strong wind across the north and the west of Scotland. And again, these will be heavy, even with the risk of thunder. So your bigger picture through Thursday and into Friday. Here's that low pressure system, showers just circulating around it, but the flow becomes a bit slacker through Friday and into the weekend and the air turns a bit colder as well. So as I said, there is a chance of some frost as we enter the weekend and they'll become more widespread through the weekend as high pressure extends from the west. So your outlook through Thursday morning, here's that rain towards the north with gales, windy across the northwest of Scotland, further showers tracking across the country, but they'll be fairly scattered and in between you'll see some drier interludes, if not a little bit of broken cloud and some brighter weather coming through. The rain will again be persistent across Shetland, but you'll get some respite coming in across Orkney through the afternoon as temperatures rise around 3 to 8 degrees Celsius. Colder on Friday and drier, but still a few showers around, a little bit of sunshine as well. Temperatures typically five or six degrees Celsius, leading into a bit of a frosty night into Saturday morning. And yet again, we'll see temperatures struggling a little bit, but some sunshine, a few showers, and it turns colder yet again on Saturday night and into Sunday with the risk of a frost. See you later.